Good morning, this is Dave Wendell of Bushcraft on Fire, and I've got another tag video for you. I've been tagged to tell you what two of my favorite navigational techniques are, and so I want to show that to you. We have done a video on navigation and different techniques and tips and tricks, but uh, I wanted to show you two things that I did not show in that video that I really like and think are important. In fact, when I teach navigation classes, these are two things that I really focus on. So come along with me as we walk a little bit down a trail, and I want to show you my first technique. As we go down this trail, we're going to be looking ahead of us for different items to uh, show us the line that we're going to. For example, I may look that I need to go, let's say, right now I'm pointing about 95 degrees, that big tree may be one of, one of my items that I want to tag. So I would walk down to that tree and then I would look for another item. So let's walk down there. Okay, so we get to this tree and then I'm going to take another reading, 95 degrees again, mark it off, maybe it'll be that stump out there. But here's what I want to tell you as far as technique as far as the tip that I want to show you for this. When I'm going this direction, things look a certain way. But when I turn around, they don't look the same. So what I want you to get in the habit of doing is turn around and look behind you every time that you take a new mark. Every time that you go from one item to another, turn around Look at the item behind you that you used. Now the last one was that large tree right in the right in the path there. And so if you look behind you, then you're going to see what it looks like going back. So the first tip that I want to tell you is always look behind you. It's a good practice anyway. You might be followed by a mountain lion or a bear. You don't want to get eaten on the path, so look behind you. But it will also show you where you've been so it's easier to find your way out. Let me show you the second technique that I really like. I've got a notebook here and so I'm going to draw a picture for you. Hopefully you'll be able to see this on the video. Alright, let's say that I've got a camp at X and I've got a river running along behind my camp and I want to go out and scout. Now let's assume that north is up on this, bit, on this uh, map. So I go south, and let's say that I measure out how far I go. I go 300 paces, which would be about 3 miles from my pace. I've got a problem when I come back to camp, in that if I miss camp, and I'm off a little bit this way, or a little bit this way, I won't know which way to turn to go to camp. So if I'm out here 300 paces and I walk back a little bit to the west, if I turn west, I could be walking away from my camp. Here's a way to correct that. When I come out my 300 paces, what I'm going to do is intentionally not walk to the north, but I'm intentionally going to walk to the northwest. That will take me off to the left of my camp. So I'll know when I hit the river, I need to turn to the right, and my camp should be there pretty close. Now, I understand that we're walking in a, in a triangle, so that takes us a little bit more time. But imagine the amount of time that it will save, or the confusion, or the possibility of getting lost, if we get up to the camp and we're off anyway, and we don't know which way to go. So when you go away from your camp, if you're coming back, make sure that you intentionally walk off 
to the wrong side, one way or the other. It doesn't matter if you go west or east, just remember which way you went. Here I'm going to go off intentionally to the west, then I will walk back to the east to find my camp. Well, I hope you've enjoyed those tips, those tricks, that you'll be able to put them to use when you're out in the bush, and it will save you some time, some effort, keep you from getting lost or a possible survival situation. Till we see you on another video, this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Hope you have a great day.